Welcome back to the Firefly Studio 67. This is Gina. Um, today I've got uh, another way for us to use some book pages. And I thought I would jump on and do a quick tutorial so that you guys can see uh, what we've got and what we're going to need. Um, <clears throat> these have been around for a while. They're little accordion, I call them accordion ephemera book uh, books. And as you can see, We've got little pockets there that you can fill with um, bits of ephemera, or you could use it, you know, in a more practical application for coupons, whatever. They've been around for ages, and I just thought it would be fun to actually do a project just using book pages out of this because um, we've got so many of them. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today, guys, and let's just jump in and get started. So the first thing you're going to need, I recently picked up <clears throat> this big book from the thrift store. And when I saw it, I loved it because it's huge. And uh, often I've got projects that I, I'm sorry about that, that I need, um, you know, larger book pages on and not to mention some of the um, illustrations are beautiful. I mean, look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. But with these kind of nature books, you always end up with not so nice ones like this. Sea life is, ugh. I don't, I don't, it's not my, you know, I mean, I love the sea. Now the shells are pretty. But you always end up with some pages that you're like, oh, I really can't see a use for that. So, <clears throat> So this is one of the pages, and what I've done, I've taken <clears throat> the, the book pages that I've been using in Episodes 1 and 2 have all come from the Reader's Digest um, Complete Library of the Garden. If you ever run across these, these are such nice books because they've got a wood cover, but the pages are just a really nice... Um, thickness so that you don't have to double up on those. So I just thought I'd share with that with you guys. If you see those, um, probably any of the Reader's Digest pages <clears throat> would be would be good, but those in particular, I really like those. So what I've done to end up with this size, which ends up being about a five and a quarter by four, and I like that size um, the first one I made was a little bit bigger. I don't like it. I want something that I know I'm going to be able to include um, in a journal if I want to. I mean, these are intended really just to send out is some happy mail, but you never know how many of I'm going to end up making. So to end up with this size, <clears throat> you're going to need a book page that is five and a half by ten. Yeah, I've got to trim that one down. Let me trim that down quickly. Five and a half by ten on that one. And then the three or four or five, it's up to you. I'm going to put three pockets in mine. These measure five, when they're folded, when you fold them, those are going to measure five inches by three and three quarter. So get three of those <clears throat> ready. Get your cover ready. And then now we are going to decoupage. I will do a little bit of it and then I will shut the camera off and come back just because um, you all can see, you've seen people decoupage and um, collage with papers. And uh, not decoupage, I'm sorry, collaging with papers. So I'm just going to take a mix of things. That's another of the um, Reader's Digest. I've got some of these Edith Holden that maybe I'm not mad on. So I use those. Then I've got some music sheet. Anything that you've got, um, do use that. <clears throat> 
And because today is also a design team project for Artie Mays, I'm using the Fox Glove Kit. You know I've done a project with this before, but I had to come back to it because I love, love, love it. <laughs> and you could see these are the, um, the some of the images from it. So I just print those out on some uh, copy paper. And don't use the thick premium. You know, if I'm doing a book page, I'll use the uh, 100 GSM. But on for if for collaging, you only need to use the 80 GSM for that. So <clears throat> if you don't have a printer, then just look around. You can get beautiful images from magazines, books. Um, you know, there's there's all sorts of ways you can get some nice images to make for the focal point. So, all right, guys, let's just jump in. Like I said, I'm not going to talk a lot on this because. Um, I'm just going to focus, just keeping in mind that um, this is how it's going to look. And so you want to make sure you get your words in the right direction. You're going to want them, you know. Um, and in fact, let's just go ahead so you guys know. Let's go ahead and score the lines so that that will remind you of the direction. Because I... If I don't do that, I tend to forget. So taking the 10 inch by five and a half sheet, which is going to be your cover, you are going to score, <clears throat> excuse me, at one and a half, okay, and then one and three quarter. Then you are going to turn the paper over. And here I want you to score at four and four and a quarter, okay? And it's just, you will have to go back and kind of um, do that again after you've collaged it because obviously your paper is going to be much bulkier. But it's a, just for, I do it prior to just because it reminds me that, oh yes, that's going to be facing that way, so make sure I get my papers correct. <laughs> you might not have that trouble and not need to do that step, so. <clears throat> so I've just got my glue stick here, and I'm going to first start by covering that front flap. And I'm not going to worry too, too much because I will come back over this and stitch now. Having said that, if you're not going to sew, because I did like a crazy stitch over it to make sure everything was down, then I would say take a bit more time on getting everything glued in the right, um, the right way. Because I really <clears throat> try to avoid having my seams end up on an area that's going to be um, where my score lines are. Otherwise, you're always battling with that paper trying to flip up. And then, so that being the, <coughs> the cover, the top flap, this is going to be the bottom. So I know I want to also make sure that that's facing in that direction. So I'm going to glue that. I use large pieces and then come back over with small um, and that's just a preference for me because um, I'm not mad on a lot of little pieces of papers, and that's just a personal, you know, choice for me, the way I, I like things to look. Okay, make, it, make sure that's down as best I can, and then like I said, I'll come, once I'm done with all of the collaging, then I'll run it under the machine and I'll just do a, a complete crazy stitch to make sure that absolutely everything is down. Okay, at this point I'm going to go ahead and trim that just because it's kind of bugging me.
So this is going to be the back. <clears throat> and so I know I'm going to want to make sure that everything is facing in the right direction for that. So we've kind of got some blue skies today. Um, there's a lot of cloud around, but oh my goodness, it is so, so nice to see some, some blue sky. It has been unreal here. Um, the, the, just the gray and uh, rain. It's just unbelievable amount of rainfall. But let's hope, guys, that... Um, that the worst is behind us, and I mean, I'm not looking forward to uh, the summer. Uh, I mean, I am <laughs> from the point of view that obviously I want some sunshine, but and getting out in the garden. But I'm dreading the heat. I really, I've never liked the heat, <clears throat> but. Obviously, when you get older, it just, um, I don't like it now. I, I seriously think Paul and I need to just think about moving to Alaska. And even then, I don't know if that would be cold enough. I'm just filling all the sand, guys, and because uh, it's just a background. Yeah, I'm just going to trim and then come back and add a little bit more. And the other good thing about this, it just reinforces that page so it's not so flimsy. So this is the front again. A little bit of the music note. And the inside I'm not going to worry about because, um, you know, you could, if it bothers you, definitely go ahead and, and uh, cover that because it, 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 be, it would be pretty with that. In fact, it would be beautiful just to take a sheet of, um, uh, Artie Mae's paper and you could just glue that down, you know, in the right direction, obviously. Just has ah, uh, you know what? I'll put that. I'll do it, guys, because I've got an extra sheet printed. We'll just go ahead and finish it out inside. And uh, okay, so do do do. Sorry guys, I'm trying to find my hair is my roller. Okay. So I know I want this image on the front there, so I'm just gonna I love these papers. She does such beautiful collage um, papers. I mean this this is the thing. <clears throat> Her papers come out so pretty. It's really... She's taken all of the work out of it for us because there's no real reason to need to collage with her papers. They're just so, so pretty. Okay, just going to take that off and then I'll wrap that around. But like I said, I'll, I'll make sure that that stays down. 
I want to make sure I get that B on the front. <laughs> I have to make sure he's there. <laughs> These have been a lot of fun to make. Um, see, I don't, I don't really like those falling like that because it, it's just very difficult. The strain you put on that. Very difficult to ever get that stuff to stay. Unless you came over it. Um, you could come over it with like Mod Podge, but you know that's not going to happen. <laughs> that's not happening in this in this studio. I finally finished up my Mod Podge, and I was like, "Oh, good riddance. I don't intend to buy any more of that unless, I, like I said, unless I go back to making the tomes." Okay, I've got that. Just something. Oh, I know what I'll use here. I'll put the postcard. Oh, I don't want to. Mm, okay, hang on. I'm going to save that little B. He's just got to be saved for something. Another project. Sit him to the side. Okay guys, at this point, well, let me get something on the back, and then I am going to, this is a really pretty image here, so I'll get that. Um, then I'm going to run this over to the machine, do some stitching. I'll show you a close-up of that when it's done. Now, as I said, you don't have to have a sewing machine. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. You can always come back and just add little um, ink lines there to make it look like stitching. There's a lot of stuff you can do, but just make sure you get everything glued down um, really well if you're not going to sew back over it. I'm going to have to take a bit of that off, I'm afraid. I'm going to put him on the back as well. This little bee. Got to use him. Okay, guys. I'm going to take this to the machine and we will get on with the inside. Okay, guys. There is a close up. Hopefully, that's showing up on camera. You can see and just stitch around. You know, and then that way that's going to hold that down. Now, before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and ink this up. I did round the corners, so just take your little rounder and round the corners. <clears throat> you don't have to do that, I just think it looks a little bit nicer. When you come back and do that, this is where you'll see any place that hasn't glued right, and you can catch it then. So just any place that you see you're not happy with, just go ahead and hit it with a bit more glue, because it will happen. Okay, at this point, let's get the inside of that. <clears throat> Oh, 
covered. Um, okay, guys, hang on. I'm going to have to print a sheet of paper, and I'll be right back. Hey, guys. Okay, so I'm, I've got the other page printing so that we can um, line it. I think it's going to look much nicer, particularly on this page, because um, there's a bit too much going on there. So let's move on to the next step. And this is the fun part. Um, this is your three, four, five, however many pockets you want. Um, these are the book pages that you have already cut at when they were folded, five inches by three, seven, five. Now all we're going to do is take some washi tape and let me see if I can get the start of this one. Um, we're just going to close those edges off. Now, if you don't have washi tape, don't worry. You can either use double sided tape, you could use masking tape. Just take some masking tape and um, stamp on it. Um, get your stamps out, and you can do that if you don't have any. I think most people probably have washi, but if you don't, don't worry. You can, you can always make do with, even just cello tape would work um, in a pinch. So all I'm doing is just going to close these off and then come back and um, snip off that excess washi. And I know that's being a little bit wasteful, but just for time purposes... I just want to get these on. And I'm not a fan of washi, so I don't mind using it up. <laughs> I don't know why. I've, it's never been a thing that's, um, that I've really gotten into. There are some beautiful designs out there for sure, but... Um, I just de-stashed uh, two things of it uh, that I had picked up at Michael's, and uh, I just it was it was a pattern that really wasn't my my style, and I should have known it when I bought it. But you know, you get kind of oh gosh, I think we're all guilty of it. You get swept up in the sales sometimes, and you end up buying stuff that. You probably normally wouldn't, but you think, oh, well, it's 75% off. I better get it. <laughs> but I don't do that now. I, I'm really selective. I guess that's the thing. The more you you get into it, you kind of know uh, what you use and what you won't. So, nearly done, guys. I'm hoping that I'm not going to have to stop the camera again because it looks like I might be getting a delivery. If I do, I'll just have to come back. So yeah, I've just been working on um, some smaller projects. As I told you guys, I knew it was that time. And it has oh, been so, so nice just to um, get back to just doing some fun things that are a little bit um, less time involved. And I have really enjoyed it. <clears throat> trying, you know, it's been fun to have time to try some new things because I just hadn't had time. <clears throat> okay, guys. I decided in the end to to put that on the inside. I'm loving that paper. Oh, I love that so much. <clears throat> but I want to make sure I'm not going to use that glue stick this time because I don't trust it on, on this. So what I'm going to do is just turn that over and now if you're making this, I would suggest you do this before you stitch. But I wasn't intending to because this is live. <laughs> so yeah. 
but I would advise it. And I will, going forward, any of them that are just needing something inside, obviously I would do this before I put it in, in, in the sewing machine. So, so yeah, anybody out there that wants to leave a comment about that, I already realized that was a boo-boo. I'm sorry, I'm human. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right, guys, I'm going to let that dry, and then we are going to come back and finish this up. Be back in a moment. Okay, guys, there we are. That's how it's looking now. I'm loving it. <clears throat> Got our, our little pockets here, and at this point, again, <clears throat> you can use glue stick. I don't. <clears throat> recommend it. I've tried it. I think it's better to use your um, glitter glue um, because if you use a water-based glue it's going to make a big old mess. So here we're just going to take some really thin lines of that and you're going to glue, I'd say it's, it's about a two inch strip. Okay. Then take this one and just line it up and press that down. Is what you're trying to do is just glue that part so that it will accordion out. And again, about two inches, one and a half to two inches. And don't go too heavy on that glue and just make sure you've got your openings facing the same way because I'm sure at some point it would be easy to glue that upside down. <laughs> we don't want to do that. <laughs> and so now the same thing on the back. Just add some of that. Spread it out a little bit so it doesn't get too too thick. And then find the bottom of your <clears throat> your little folder here and just press that down and then on the top page same thing just go lightly across that oh, there's my delivery guys I'll be right back okay guys so now we have glued the front and the back and I'm just taking my bone folder and just going down inside those pockets. Just make sure that's adhered really well. Okay? Now, the next thing we need to do, and I've done this ahead of time, is I just take, I've got a one inch circle punch, take some craft card, or do some guard, cardboard, and then I layered up two of those, glue them together. And that's going to be the closure. Um, you could use some Velcro. I just, I kind of like these closures. But you can definitely use whatever closure you want. And just center that. And then, um, let's get a, uh, a brad in there. And then I'll show you. Get the string on it, and then I'll show you the inside. I'll get let that dry just a few more minutes before we pull it. I'm just going to cover up, just to finish it off on the inside, I'm going to cover up that brad with another circle in the same paper. You don't have to do this, it's just another little detail. Okay, gosh, yeah, that's made me out of breath. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Okay. So 
I've got the, my um, Irish linen thread. A lot of people ask me what I'm using. This is not embroidery thread. Um, I just, I love this. I, I've got a shop here locally that, um, that I get it from. And uh, I love to use this. Because sometimes the, the garden twine is a little bit bulky. So this is just a nice weight. Just wrap that around a couple of times. So is everybody enjoying <clears throat> the projects with the book pages? Is there anything else that maybe you'd like to see me do? Um, I've got a couple of ideas coming up. Um, I won't share them at this moment because I want to make absolute certain that um, I've got everything ready to do it before I mention it, but yeah, I'd like to hear, you know, if you've got any ideas, these are just those little pearls. I'll just put something on the end, otherwise the twine can just kind of get lost. So yeah, I'd like to hear, you know, if there's anything that you'd like to see me do, um, any requests on tutorials. I mean, I'm, I'm really enjoying working with the book pages at the moment, but if if there's other tutorials you'd like to see. Um, I mean, the only thing I would say that I cannot share, it's just not something I'm comfortable with. When I've learned a specific technique from a um, course, I, I'm not comfortable with um, doing those tutorials for that. Um, and I'm sure most of you will understand why. Um, I can certainly point you in the direction of where, and I know that probably seems a bit silly to people, but especially if it's just one particular element, but it just doesn't seem right to me to do that. Um, so I do hope you understand that, but anything else that I can share, I'd certainly um, try to. All right, guys, let's just have a quick look here how it's come out. There's the back. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Love how that's collaged. I like the front of that. So this will definitely fit in a journal, but I think this is going to be awesome for just uh, Happy Mail to fill up with some handmade um, ephemera. And then when you open it up, this is what we've got now. Three little pockets. And you can see the side. It's nice, isn't it? Really pleased with how those have come out. Um, it's a quick project. The first one will take you the longest, obviously, with anything. The first time you do it, you stumble through, but honestly, guys, they're very quick, and they're super, super fun project to do, so I hope you will um, give it a try, guys. Thanks so much for hanging in with me. I know it was a bit broken up, and I do apologize for that, but um, we got there in the end, so you guys take care, and I'll be back soon. Bye.